Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for June the 1st through to the 15th. We have moved into Gemini season as you know and this is a general reading Taurus so just take what feels right and leave the rest. This reading is for your sun, moon and rising signs and be sure to listen to all of them because you'll get a fuller picture of what that of what's going on for you and if this reading does resonate and you'd like to find out more there will be an extended reading and the link will be in the description box below i'll talk about that a little bit later but for the moment cup seven moon scorpio has come out for you taurus lots of choices decisions options coming out so kind of interesting Let's see what else is coming around for you. Could be around the home. Could be around the home. So could be wanting to um, buy some new things, get some new possessions, lots of different options and choices. Wand seven, Mars Leo. Okay, you've got two sevens, the cups and the wands. So... There's lots of options, but it might be highly competitive. But it's going to be something that you're going to really have to want this. You're going to have to fight for it as well. So let's see what else is coming through with this, Taurus. I'll just shuffle one more time. What else does Taurus need to hear? What else does Taurus need? Oh, the devil, Saturn, Capricorn, Mars. So I feel like you could be working hard. You could be working hard for your money and you want to spend it on some nice things, 100%. But it does feel like uh, with that 1-7, yeah, it's like you've got Mars twice. So there's also ambition coming in, but there might be restrictions around or reworking and restructuring around work with that Capricorn energy. Could be very competitive environment, like I said. So let's see what else is coming through. We have the Queen of Cups. Nice. Crossed by the Four of Pentacles. The King of Wands has come in. The Five of Wands. So, yeah, there is a sense of maybe some conflicts around what everyone's wanting here. That's why there's the potential for some different opinions, different options, some conflicts. I want this, I want that, I want blah, 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 blah. I want to pull a full ano another card for the Five of Wands, but actually that doesn't feel right. I want the Hermit there. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pull a card for the near future. I'm going to come back to the Five of Wands. It's just not feeling right to pull a card for that right now, Taurus. So let's see what else is coming through. If I can try not to pull that covers off. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles in the near future. So that hard work's going to pay off. Something very solid is coming in in the near future. So that's a solid opportunity coming through. And yeah, uh, you're kind of fighting through the crowd and getting it. It's mine. <laughs> it's mine. So it's like, you know, if there's an auction for a house or something like that or an opportunity for promotion or something like that coming through and you've had to kind of compete or um, prove yourself in some way, the fool you are presenting as the full, interesting. The moon and the energy around you, there is a bit of confusion here. The strength card coming in, look at all the major arcanas, and we have the devil as the outcome. My goodness, okay. I'm going to pull another card for the devil and another card for the five of wands. You've got the devil twice. The details in the devil, the four of wands. Okay, fantastic. Look, yeah, it could be a new home for some of you. Uh, there is a sense of, yeah, 
Let's pull something for that five of wands, the one wand, the ace of wands. So, yeah, I think you're going to be having to deal with some competition, but you are going to come out victorious with that six of wands, but you're going to have to fight for it and work hard for this. There's an ambition coming through, uh, but uh, building uh, – some of you, there could be some restructuring at work and you have to fight for positions or it could be that you're building, you come back to security, you're building a solid foundation here. So let's look. We've got the Queen of Cups crossed by the Four of Pentacles. Um, either way, there's a lot of ambition here. Um, this is interesting, right, right in the centre. You've got the Moon as well as Capricorn. So you've got... Interesting, like this is Cancer and Capricorn, they're like opposite energies. It's like the masculine and the feminine. It's self-nurture and then there's ambition and there's the, the mother and the father energy. So the feminine, I feel like that's why I'm, I'm saying I feel like you're working hard. This feminine is being neglected, the self-care, the self-love, the self-nurturing, fulfillment, feeling love or having the energy for love is being crossed by the four of pentacles, which is, I need to work. I need to make money. I have to be responsible for something at this moment in time. So I'm kind of, it's very much a dominant masculine em energy that's coming through. Uh, it's not a feminine energy. So the four of pentacles feels like, yeah, you need to be, find some kind of responsibility or with money um, that things you need to, keep it you're going to need to hold on to it somehow not wanting to let that go so however that presents in your life uh, in your conscious mind we've got the king of wands which is like for some of you wanting a promotion or for some of you wanting to be uh, the leader of your life the authority you want it you've got a vision of what you want what you're wanting to bring in and even though it feel like it might be delays it might be crosswise it might feel like it's going slowly it might be a bit of a like a uh, a grind to the finish line it's like well I'm willing to stick my head down and push 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 because no one's going to get past me so there's this real determination with this king of wands and this is the conscious mind to really feel like you're in control of what's happening here and I feel like the instincts, the best way for you to feel like you're in control is to work hard and to stick with what you've got and what you know and not to move away from something right at this minute of time. So it does feel like you're bound to something at this moment. There's a responsibility coming through. Um, but there is, you know, at the base, there's the five of wands and the ace of wands are conflicted because this is the new, wanting to start something new, do something new. And that's what the king of wands is. He's holding this ace of wands and going, perhaps there's a better way. Perhaps there is a new way to be looking at this. It's an Aries energy of starting something new, um, stepping into it. So it's kind of interesting because it can't. this can be a new desire, something you really want, a new ambition, but there's conflict around it, about around wanting it. So it's kind of interesting, but at the same time, you're thinking about it a lot. You're thinking about how you can make this happen. So it's kind of interesting, and that's why in the recent past we have the hermit looking for some answers deep down. Really doing a bit of soul searching, perhaps. Uh, really wanting to, it, it's internal wisdom as well, looking at internal truth and wisdom. But I feel like you've had to dig deep because you've had to really dig deep to find some reserves of strength because of this competition. It's the competition that you're up against. For whatever reason, it just there is something that you are. It's not just you. You there's a lot of people and to choose from, or not a, a lot of selections, a lot of choices, and so there's a lot of competition. So this could be people actually competing for you as well, but it could be the other way around. But the the hermit is, I feel like, in order to find and put your strongest foot forward, and to find your inner resilience and strength, uh, you have gone very deep and seen what you've made of, proving what it is that you're made of here. So it might feel like a testing time, 
But at the same time, it's going to be a confidence builder. So, and then you're going to get the rewards. This ace of Ace of Pentacles. And it's almost like for some of you it can become almost like an obsession, reaching some kind of goal or uh, achieving what it is that you want here for some of you, um, not all of you, but this Ace of Pentacles comes in and it's like this is what I wanted, this is what I've been working towards. And so it gets presented to you with this Ace of Pentacles. You get some kind of recognition or reward. You get the seed that you you want to plant, this concrete opportunity that comes in, this big opportunity comes your way, but you fought for it. So that's why, you know, you the, you are the fool, like you're wanting to step into the new, but at the same time there's all these restrictions around you that it's it's hard to do that. But the new's coming with the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be like a promotion or this could be starting your own business or this could be buying your own ho new a new home or your first home. And with the moon in Scorpio as well, this could be, you know, a new way to be making money. Uh, so a new way for success. So it's very, you know, you might want to be your own boss. So this is why there's a part of you that wants to just be free, to light and re feel light and to take a chance, take a risk even, and to reset and just step out and feel light and move away from these restrictions and responsibilities that are here at this moment in time. So, but, you know, surrounding you, you have the moon and you've got the moon twice and that's, again, the can't, like it can be Pisces or Cancerian energy, can moon rules cancer, but it's highly intuitive. Uh, it's very emotional. It's very, you're really going to trust your gut with this. But it's also the opportunity for miscommunication, confusion, uh, fear and doubt as well around stepping into this new. So... It, it might feel like the moon can represent home. It can feel moving out of one safety or it can be an, moving out of one identity or one home or one place that you were and stepping into a new. And so there's fear around doing that, stepping out of a comfort zone, really. Uh, but it's also wanting to feel safe within that transition. You know, it's important to feel emotionally safe and it's sort of like perhaps to feel safe what you do is you hold on to your money because you want that stability. But it's like I kind of want to be doing something I love here. I want to be nurturing something. And um, there's this conflict between that and the responsibilities coming through. And that's why, you know, hopes and fears, you've got this strength card, which is that something is... It's kind of interesting because the line is represents like Leo or the fire, really. The King of Wands can sometimes be a Leo card. And we've got Mars Leo here as well. And it, the, that can sometimes represent the ego, that the e a part of your ego, uh, it's it can be like the Mars energy is being softened by the the Virgo, the feminine, the maiden. So it's finding that taming the the ego and the masculine and bringing in the softer side, finding that balance as well. This is just hopes and fears. And so it might mean that whatever it is that you're dealing with here that could be a pressure cooker kind of situation, uh, there's a part of you that you need to requires a, a lot of self-discipline and strength coming through around this. And so it, it, I'm also getting you might want to be saying things and it's better to not to say it. Like if you want to um, uh, criticise someone or say something's not good or it's better to hold, to keep your mouth shut around something um, to stay silent and let it play out rather than start getting involved too much in the in the game. So it's better to hold your ground um, is kind of what I'm getting for you, Taurus. So it's interesting that you've got the devil and the four of wands coming in because it's like uh, I feel like you might be working hard for stability. It's like accepting a responsibility here that I'm willing to uh, to work hard at my career 
for a reward for this happy home, happy heart, whether it's a partnership, whether it's for your own home, um, whether it's for your family, whether it's just for you to build a solid foundation for yourself. There's ambition coming through here. And there is a sense that for the moment, like the King of Wands can be wanting to be the boss. The Ace of Pentacles could be promotion. It could be wanting to be your own boss, like start your own business. But for the moment, it's kind of like I've got all this drive and ambition and I need a place to kind of direct it to. And if you can't necessarily step into this new straight away, and then you direct it towards working hard to building what it is that you want. So that's also really important. And at the end of the day, you're going to do whatever you need to do for success. And whether that means staying in a job for the moment, saving really hard uh, in order to, for whatever it is that you're wanting to come through to start your own business, uh, or you've already done that because the Capricorn energy can be around saving money uh, and being really prudent and and careful with your money there's a sense that you're going to not let this opportunity get away and you're going to do what it takes to make this successful so yeah it's important I think that's really important and so this could be that you want to step into the ace of pentacles and you're starting your own business and I'm going to work really really hard and I, it's kind of like I am bound to this idea I'm dedicated to this idea so that's what I get I just get a hard work but for a cause for a reason and it feels good like it yes it might feel restricted but you want to be doing this so let's see what else is coming through for you Taurus this will pay off this will pay off but I feel this is what you want even though there's a lot of other things that you might be wanting as well but uh the four of wands could be, again, like we said, buying a few nice things, working hard, saving, and now you've got a few nice things to buy around the home. So, or, you know, some new possessions, whatever they might be. So we say, it says, I'm at peace with my age. Each age has its own special joys and experiences. I'm always the perfect age for where I am in life. And so that's what I feel like with this uh, energy of Saturn that's coming in it's kind of accepting the responsibilities of where you're at in life is really kind of what it's asking as well and it says I open new doors to life I rejoice in what I have and I know that fresh new experiences are always ahead I greet the new with open arms I trust life to be wonderful so I do feel like it's kind of an interesting combination of there are doors opening here for you and you're building this really solid foundation, but there's still something that you're kind of stuck in a certain spot. There's a responsibility until you can, uh, a responsibility. So if you are opening the new door, you feel very responsible for it. You're responsible for the money. You're responsible for the success of it. So, and if you're not opening the new door yet, you're staying in the old door until you're ready, you're feeling ready to open this new door because there is this sense of responsibility coming through. I hope that makes sense. But it, it does feel really good. Like the four of wands is happy home, happy heart. So, yeah, it's really, really good. Let's see what's coming through for you. I think there's a couple of charms have come out. We've got the little, oh, what do we have? The seahorse, little seahorse. So it is a sense of <laughs> children I'm getting children with that for some of you we have handmade so that's kind of interesting and what I get is that you know interesting we have the hand with the pentacle here this is your own hard work this is could be something to do with working with your hands you can see this fella's holding the money with his hands you've got it in your hands and this is kind of like a self-made energy You've made this yourself. This is your responsibility and it's your own skills and abilities that ha have created this. And then we have the little, the, the seahorse can also be in a child energy, but I'm also getting, uh, because seahorses, the males carry the babies, there's this sense of, because um, we're kind of seeing Interestingly, it's saying the hard stepping into the masculine and the hard work, you're going to see the birth of these new opportunities. 
is kind of what we're saying. So it, it's the right time for that. It feels right. And then we have the beautiful turtle, which is coming. This is a soul journey for you. You've got two elements that are, are in, in the water, the seahorse and the turtle. And the turtle does have to go across a hard journey. It has to, has to work hard to walk across as a baby. It hatches in an egg, has to walk across the sand to get to the ocean, to get to where it feels home, to get to its place of destination, where it's going to. And it's kind of saying for that moment, see it as the a journey, not necessarily a destination. You're on that journey. You might be in that journey where you feel like you're walking across the sand at the moment, but you're going to get there. You're going to get there to that, to the ocean. You're going to get to where you want to with the four of wands, but to understand it's a process and it's the journey that's important and it's a soul journey as well. So there is going to be a lot of fulfillment and happiness but to not uh, be so focused on the end result that you're not enjoying the process, even though there is responsibilities involved with that. So that's the message for you, Taurus. Um, I do feel like it's all going to be really, really positive for you. And I think, yeah, you're going to really, this is something that you could really set yourself up for a long time. This is, this is setting yourself up. So you deserve a lot of credit for this and you should be very proud of what it is that you're trying to achieve here or what you're working towards as well. So that's what they wanted me to say. <laughs> so that's it, Taurus. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now. We're going to pull some cards for what else you need to know for this part of the reading. We're going to look at see what comes in with this new solid opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles, the new door opens, a new pathway opens for you. So let's see what's coming in around that and also what's coming in around this Four of Wands, this uh, happy home, this this new sense, this stability that's coming in. So we're going to pull some cards for the near future and the future beyond and then we're going to focus in on career, money, love and relationships and pull some cards specifically for that. So all of that's going to be in the extended reading. Love it if you come over. The link is in the description box below. Just uh, click on that or take you over to Vimeo. I usually pin the link to the comments as well. Um, and this is where we're leaving each other and you enjoyed this content and you would like to support the channel and the growth of the channel, please like, subscribe, leave a comment or share and take care, Taurus. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.